Okay, now we come to our first of many different cycles. And this is what's called the air standard cycle. It's a cycle for which the air standard assumptions are applicable, which a lot of these are, but um, this is the absolute most basic one. Now remember last time I told you that this is much more realistic. We have air, we have fuel, they mix together, they burn, boom! And we have combustion projects, products. And our T high in this case is simply the temperature of combustion, okay? What is our combustion products at? Now, we can do that, and we will eventually move on to that as we go into later chapters. But to, st um, to start, and also we're doing many calculations, we don't need to think about that. We can instead just say, well, we're just adding in heat here. And how are we adding the heat? We're not talking about that. And the air gets hotter. You're like, what about the fuel? Well, it's mostly air before and after. If you look at combustion, there's a whole lot of air to a little bit of gas. So it still works out fine. Okay, but let's talk about these different air standard assumptions. So here they are. First off, who would have guessed the working fluid is actually air? And we're saying that it is in a closed loop. Why? It makes it a lot easier to draw a cycle because we're just saying the same air is going around the cycle. Is it really? No, we're exhausting it and intaking it. But for now, we're going to assume that it's a closed loop. And it also always behaves as an ideal gas, which is close enough to the case. Now, you know about compressibility, so it's not always the case, but we're getting there. Okay, second thing, everything is internally reversible. Internally reversible means that I don't have any friction, any air resistance, no heat loss. Looks nice. Remember, this makes it an upper limit, okay? It's an upper limit for these different cycles. Second, we don't talk about combustion. First rule of air standard cycles, you don't talk about combustion. I've never actually seen Fight Club, but if it's a good movie, please post in the comments. And finally, I don't have an exhaust process because the air is staying in the cycle, and instead I just say I'm rejecting heat. How am I doing that? We're not talking about it. You're actually exhausting the gas. The heat is leaving with that mass. But in this case, we're just saying it magically leaves. Why? Because it makes it simpler to talk about. And the last thing is we can make a cold air standard assumption. We're saying it's air with a constant specific heat that's at room temperature. So that's saying our CP and our CV, they're constant. They don't change with temperature, which is very nice for a lot of our problems. If it's not constant, you got to go to the tables, which we will do many, many times. So don't worry about that too much. Okay. Now, we're going to be jumping into an example next time, but I'll stop here for now, and I'll see you all in just a minute. Bye-bye.